I see her. Cross code. In the last part, my gear needed updated. And that's still true. So I started doing some arenas, and we're gonna do more arenas. And I need to figure out what a chain is. Maybe this info desk? Scores, medals, and coins. Tell me about chains. Nods, kills, and chains question. You get additional score points whenever you defeat an enemy. Additionally, defeating enemies will increase your chain. Points of each defeated enemy are subsequently multiplied with your chain. You keep your chain as long as you remain active in combat without being hit too often. Okay. You also get points for defeating multiple enemies at the same time, which are also multiplied with your chain. As such, defeating enemies in a certain way can boost your score by quite a lot. Tell me a little about medals, trophies, and coins. Okay, yeah, bronze, silver, gold. Always get at least a bronze for finishing a round. There are score requirements for the others. You can receive an additional medal for your performance in rush mode, which is derived from your average performance. If collected medals for each round of a cup, you'll also receive a trophy. Finally, for each new medal, yeah, you get arena coins. If you perform exceptionally well, you may receive a platinum medal. They only prove your level of expertise and are not awarded with arena coins. Good to know. Okay. It occurred to me also, um... Homestead had some of those leveling up equipments that might actually just be better than what I can get here. But I'm committed to getting at least one weapon, I feel like, from the arena. So, uh, yeah. Let's continue with our arena-ing. Actually, should double check elements. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Use fire. All right, got that three chain. Ice, doesn't matter. Oh, it was too far away. I did lose my chain. That will be very unfortunate for my score, I imagine. Ah, four seconds too slow to get the time bonus. Alright. But if we just keep getting these bronze medals, I can eventually get a weapon. Just gonna assume fire's correct here. Ow. That plant warped. And I just got owned. Okay. So these are probably like targets to shock because they're green <laughs> out lost my chain so when your break bar fills up you rush forward okay Nice, another silver. Oh, three seconds slower and would have missed out on 20,000 points. Actually, how many... How many coins do I have? That would be good to know. I probably have to check at the... Let's see, was left equipment? No.
Okay, I have 2,900. I want 5,000. Actually, I kind of want... 9,000. So that I can convert it to the level up version. But either way, getting any of these weapons is going to be way better than my Survivor Blade. Alright, almost done with the Rookie Cup. Maybe I try Rush Mode, even? I wonder how many... Oh yeah, that's worth 4,500 coins if you get gold. Probably worth... 2,250 if you get silver. Because I see most of them have arena coins out of 1,000, and that's, you know, larger. <laughs> Forest friends. Oh, hey. Didn't we, like, just fight some of these? So not going amazing from an uh, avoiding damage standpoint. All right, you are probably weak to, yeah. Hmm. Ow. <laughs> not actually sure. what I'm meant to do here. It's obvious this is not the correct way to harm it. I'm just trying to make sure I stay active in combat so that I don't lose my chain. I mean, we're filling up a break meter occasionally. Okay, got him. Yep, was too slow. Yeah, I don't know how I would have been faster about that. I still didn't quite figure out the bear. Oh! Huh. These guys at the end. Oh, but... Ah, lost my chain. a lot of projectiles these guys have. You got any weakness? Secret has something to do with those pylon things. Oh! You're already defensive again? Well, the level 3 art got him anyway. Yeah, terrible score. New trophy. Bronze. Let's see, I guess the trophy itself wasn't worth coins, was it? <laughs> Got like one quarter of the possible coins. 
course, like, half of them are rush mode or something. Well, no, like a third of the coins. I could just call in my allies and do these and get a bunch of coins. Let's see, what am I up to now, though? 3,300. Dungeon boss cup. The lethal turret. The boss of Rhombus dungeon. 45 seconds. Yeah, this might be more fun than moving to team mode or the next cup. Gonna have to remember how to fight this turret. really be focusing on avoiding damage, but somehow it's already been 25 seconds? Right. I remember how to fight this. Oh, or do I? Oh wait, it doesn't have a shield up yet. I just shoot it. That's not very good at that range. Neat. Yeah, how on earth do you do this in 45 seconds? I guess by being stronger than I am? I hit the switch twice myself. Let's, like, try a different ranged skill. Huh. That may have been the correct answer the whole time. <laughs> Bronze. I want to try that one again. Also, I should inspect it for weaknesses. I kind of assumed it didn't have one because you don't have elements in this point in the game. Yeah. assume Mark is a good status effect, I guess. Oh, that was the healing. Still nowhere close to 45 seconds.
And I'm overheated. Oh, but we won. Alright, no damage taken, no items used. Get an extra 800. That was worth the retry, right? <laughs> Okay, so don't worry too much about time, as long as you can, uh, never take damage at all. Understood. Let's see, wait. If I got a thousand from that, I should be at 4,300? Just like a silver and a bronze will get me to a weapon. Alright, how do we fight the frozen robot? I think we did have fire available. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Oh wait, this makes our shots fire, but we have it available anyway. I assume we can't, like, get some sort of chain bonus from defeating his minions. So yeah, actually using the... These can help us preserve our overheat meter even though we do naturally have fire. Ow. Ow. <laughs> All right. That felt pretty bronze. Yeah. How long did it take? Won't even tell. Oh, 130. <laughs> uh, well, let's just try again, right? I have some idea what I'm doing now. I think our score is mostly going to come from damage avoidance. The third one goes straight. Oh, whoops. So, well, not a perfect. I think I was meant to kill those little drone things, though. Oh. I actually only intended to use a level 1 charge. That was intended to be level 2. I didn't have enough SP for what I wanted. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> if I shoot through the fire thing, does it become double fire? Probably not. Oh, you can turn. Alright. Avoiding damage, not looking so good. Also, you gotta hit the back when it's overheated. Noted. That was even slower as well. Alright, one more shot.
there. Oh, that does barely anything. I need to stop getting hit by that charge. Also, I misread the direction of his back. Thought that would get him. I guess he died to the burn, actually. So saved like 20 seconds. There we go, silver rank. So just beat the next boss at all, and I believe I get my loot. The Colossal Gear. Hmm. Sure would be convenient if I remembered any of these fights. I was probably meant to hit the middle there. Oh, it's slippery down there. Ow, ow, ow. Can probably aim the bombs better with my um, ranged attack than my melee attack. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I was on top of him? Also, I totally just jumped off. Well, that was awkward. Didn't expect my special move to actually move me, you know? I think, yeah, using fire can make it explode immediately. <laughs> I guess, do you have any weaknesses? No. Shield didn't break. Thought I was gonna get it there. Uh, excuse me? I've actually sort of reviewed a puzzle mechanic by doing this fight. Should be good to know what those are before the final dungeon. Ow. That one just always hits me. Comes across the screen so quick. Victory is victory. Yeah. 
So, I can buy a thing. Oh, yeah, just double checking. Yeah, my level 54 Survivor's Blade is my lowest level equipment. I wish I knew what all these modifiers did. Uh, is there a way I can... Yes. Okay. Okay, so my current weapon has Brawler and HP regen. Increases damage dealt immediately after dashes. Interesting. Oop. Then this has scope and bulk caliber. Increases aiming speed. Increases knockback from charged shots. Increases damage on attacking or charging enemies. Oh, 50%, huh? And that has HP regen on it as well. I apparently also lose Berserker? I go to negative 50% Berserker. Increases damage... Or no. Wait. Why is the arrow point left? I guess it's going into your stats. So I would deal less damage while at critical HP, but more damage while counter-attacking. Uh, honestly, this Pendulum Striker seems possibly the best. Um, let's see. Yeah, because this has crit rate on it, too. This has a lot of max HP. I guess that helps you not get into uh, negative Berserker territory. Or do I currently have Berserker? I'm not sure how I would tell. Ice Skater? A tough, never-ending stack for combat. Massive weapon made from an extremely dense crystal. Great destructive force through continuous movement. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a Pendulum Striker. Uh, right. I had to hit right. <laughs> Boom! Two average equipment levels. We did it. Yeah, I don't currently have anything called Berserker. Okay, before I do more arena... Actually, it's like been half an hour. But I do want to check out what the equipment at Homestead was. It might be easier to gather this stuff for it than for the, uh, um, the Rhombus Square equipment. Oh no, you just buy this. Huh. Is it even better than my current gear, though? I guess that's a lot of defense, but I give up a lot of focus, and I lose my modifiers. Because this weapon has no modifiers. None of these do. Are they even good? Oop. I meant to hit start, but hit back. Yeah, flash step. Okay. Yep. Uh, uh. I like flash step. <laughs> See, this doesn't even have more attack. Oh, that's compared to the arena equipment. 
What's Avenger? Restores SP on guard based on the power of the attack. Double that for a perfect guard. I don't value that. Yeah, let's just get a cross edge for the sake of having more attack and equip it over the Shining Bracer. Plus it's auto-leveling equipment. All right, what about boots? What was I giving up if I took the boots? Flash step. Not even getting attack. What's the point? <laughs> yeah, I'm not convinced these other things are worth giving up the passives for. I guess that is a lot of health, but I give up a lot of attack and defense. This is at least pure stats besides my wave resistance. And, you know, <laughs> the loss of modifiers. I should have probably come and bought at least one cross edge before I <laughs> did all that arena stuff. But anyway. Let's see, if I put on the old stuff, how much attack do I have? 388. Compared to... 399. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a bit more power we've got there. I think next time we'll just keep doing Arena. Just moving back into the arena building to save and quit, but that will be it for this part. And in the next part, I already said what was in the next part. More arena. See ya!